Next up, we're gonna measure out our vacuum form box. Looks like it's gonna be seven by seven. A seven by seven square, that looks like that's gonna be plenty. So here's gonna be the two. There go. There's gonna be two, the, the two lines right here coming this way. I need six squares. So yeah, you see seven by seven, that looks like that's gonna be plenty. these three so we'll cut these three squares one two three we don't have to measure those so what we'll do is just flip those over and trace around them super quick we'll glue it all together nail it together probably screw it together the last piece we'll draw several holes into it then using these wood circular cutouts we'll create a port you know on the side for the vacuum to fit in seal that baby and when we flip on the vacuum Create suction from the top. You'll see that at the end. So let's get to it. All right, so next up, I'm gonna to try to cut, cut out these squares. I'm gonna do it with a jigsaw. Should probably do it with a skill saw, but we're gonna check this out, see how it works. We got some seat clamps. Just clamp this piece of wood down. So it doesn't move on us. A little more stability. And last but not least, guys, don't be tough. Wear your ear protection. It helps. All right, it's going to get loud, so I'll pause this part and we'll play some music while I'm cutting. Hit it. squares three to go the sander I'm gonna round off these edges Thank you. 
next step to try to get these things put together screw them together probably put some type of sealant in all the corners so we can dry have no air leaks whatsoever so we'll do that let's get to it all right guys so fast forward a day or two life happened got busy but there you go progress i made i built the box put liquid nails some type of silicone to seal up all the cracks but yeah measured the bait so it'll fit right there and it'll form around this you know that's what they call vacuum form next step right here i've already made the mark right here got my little drill gun little circular cutting tool all you gotta do is carve out the cut out the spot where the vacuum will go so let's go ahead and get to that what's awesome is the screw will keep it so it doesn't fall in <sighs> get a perfect hole dump all the excess wood out man light up so we got the vacuum show you how good this thing fits it fits pretty good we got snug I don't even know if I need to tape that off or anything. That's perfect. Oh man, it's tight. That's what you want. Have to kind of force it in there. It should naturally create a suction without having to tape this off like you see. So there she is. Vacuum box is ready to go. Now we got to do is go get some stencil sheets, hook the vacuum up, start making stencils so we can really speed up the process of doing these fine detail paint jobs hi right, guys so another day another dollar back in the garage going to show you guys how this actually works what we'll do is lay this you know start heating this stencil up with a heat gun once it starts getting hot kind of lay it over the bait flip on the vacuum and keep heating it and it should suck down and create a pretty good stencil this bait right here <clears throat> All right, so get the vacuum close to me. So make sure you can see that because it turned. Yeah, it's still good. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna start heating this stencil up. And once it's pretty good and warm, then I'll hit the vacuum. Ready for this? Here we go. So, I already know right off the top I need some thinner stencil paper because, you know, as you can see, it creases at the top, which is fine. The main part I want to paint is the scales. Yeah, you see that it created a good stencil around the bait, pretty solid literally have to pop that out so that's pretty cool so yeah you just pop your bait out look at that it comes out perfect and you got a stencil and you can just kind of cut around the bait and of course i'm gonna get better at this off camera but create this video to give you guys a rough idea of how this thing works all right so normally yeah i mean this will be a lot cleaner of course see that's what you'd normally do you got your bait next thing i'll do is i'll all these little scale lines on the reptilian bait I'll go in there by hand and draw and cut out the designs I want. And then from there, it's just a matter of putting that, so you snap right on, putting that stencil on top of the bait, and then you can airbrush 
paint however you want, like super fast. So, yeah. so that's it, guys. I'm getting excited. Got my little bait box. Got my little vacuum box built, so that thing is working good. Sealed really tight. What I need is just to get some thinner stencil sheets, and that'll work a lot better. I already knew this is going to be too thick. I did this for airbrushing t-shirts. This is what this stencil is for, so I definitely got to get some thinner sheets to make stencils for lures. I mean, that worked, but I want it to get a lot better. The thinner sheets I get, you know, they'll be able to form around the details a lot better. So, yeah, overall, this thing worked good. This box will last me a while. First one I made was out of cardboard. It didn't work very good. It caved in. Learned the hard way, but yeah. This thing right here will hold up. It should last me for many years to come. So, got that thing ready. Pretty soon I'll be making some bad bass stick baits. Got the bait plastic. Little measuring cup. Microwave. So I can melt the plastic. Any color I want, pretty much. Green pumpkin, watermelon. Bubble gum back here. My brother will like that. Got some pearl dye right here. This brush on. All the glitter. Here's different scents. Cappuccino, garlic, herring, some bait fish, and then crawfish. This is just plastic softener. So, got some bags. I'm going to have some custom bags made, but just starting out, I bought some bags, and I'm going to put stickers on them, you know, Bad Bass logos. Right now, I'm in the process of designing my own custom crawdads and things like that. So it's just always, my mind's always churning with this stuff, man. I need to quit my day job soon and focus on this full time. But I need to be getting paid on this first. So that's it. Little vacuum box set up, ready to make stencils. Yeah, slowly but surely, we're going to slowly start moving along, man. It's a long journey, long process, but we're getting there. Yeah, that's a wrap, guys. Get off here. Let's head on to the next project. Thanks for watching. Bad Bass. Go like the page, Facebook. Subscribe to YouTube. We're going to get that channel started soon. So, yeah, this whole thing's going to get moving, guys.